Hi, this is Ben from bestqsystems.com. Under this video tutorial, we are going to look on how to use switch statement for characters and understand them very well. Okay. So for the characters, we are going to we might need to have something like this. Okay. We are going to have car options is equals to we might need to put default value as a okay yeah then you could say switch options which are of type characters then you could say case i want you to check very well for the integers you to say something like case one and you put full colon then you break but for now we are not doing something like that okay these are characters and you need to say case single quotes and you put some colon then you break but you have in case a what do you want us to print for the case a because these are characters and for the case a you're going to say something like this it's you will see it's a vowel just to say it's a vowel okay then we're going to print all these cases some couple of times And we'll say kiss a and we'll say it's a vowel. And kiss e it's a vowel also. Then you're going to come here and copy paste everything here and do something like this. Okay, so I'm just copy paste that and you're going to have kiss or it's a vowel. Case O is a word, then we are going to have case U. In case you are going to say system dot out is a word, and then default because if you enter the option that is not, we are going to say something like this system dot out dot print rain. Uh, it's a cons it's a consonant. I'm not sure how it's written or not very good in grammar and then i'm going to print this and if you enter something like k let me just say k something like that oh i'm sorry i'm sorry so we can just uh, if i check the, the option here and i put k just to initialize as option let go see it's a consonant okay if we enter something like a because I don't want to use your sign to put you can use you want to put something like a there and you print you can see is a boy and that's how you use that's how you use characters and switch statement okay uh, right now we are going to also check how to use strings and switch statement and understand them very well so for this I'm going to also to initialize the scanner in is equal to new and this is going to be system dot in something like that you put semicolon and then from this we're going to say string option i must think choice choice how is it right there oh okay in choice then you're going to say system dot out dot print line we are going to put some names here and see if if if, if this name are available you're going to say they are programmer else they are not programmers so for that we're going to say please enter any number uh any name and we are going to guess if they are programmers so you're going to put some few names and you're going to guess if they are programmers and for that you put full crown and you put one next one character something like that then you can just come here and say system dot dot print right and you can see uh benson can enter benson okay something like that you come here mm, so sorry So the next name is going to be Karoen like that, like that, okay? We're just going to have Karoen and Alex. 
and something like Rx. Okay, so for that, we are going to um, to allow user input by saying choice is equals to in dot next line dot next line something like that and then from that you're going to have switch switch choice okay because we want to switch choice and now we want to understand how you can use switch and strings or something like that and you're going to say case remember for the integers we used to say something like that uh, if you want number you just say something like that okay something like that and then you break that was the choice that was for integers and for the characters you say something like this and you put your your stuff inside here and you break now for the string you say something like case double quotes you put full colon and then you break but you're going to have case benson okay case benson you're going to say uh, system dot out dot print line dot print line let's say a benson is a programmer that is benson and go say case okay and i could say something like case caravan and i could say case caravan you can say system dot out dot print line is a programmer okay and then you're going to have the last case and this case is going to be case rx okay case rx this is for string and switch statement on the screen okay so you're going to have system dot out dot print line let's see rx is a programmer something like that okay rx is a programmer and this should be out not our <laughs> then the last thing that we the next thing that we're going to have is default and default is going to be you are going to say you are not a programmer so system dot out uh, dot mm, i'm sorry dot print line i'm going to print line as a u that you're going to say something like that choice choice okay choice concatenate with okay is not a programmer then the error is coming because you have to put a semicolon at the end there then i'm going to run the program and see what is going to happen please enter name and we're going to guess if they are programmers suppose i come here and i enter benson and you can see benson is a programmer i run the program again and I just enter Karwe and you can see Karwe and you can see Karwe is a programmer but if you enter a name that is not there something like uh, Dish, Ama, Do and you can see Do is not a programmer and that's the way you can use the switch and the strings in programming okay in the next video tutorial we are going to run more on this goodbye and I'm not